So we're yard selling today. And I got a pretty good deal on a hoodie. Candy's got it on. A dollar. I let her wear it because of mosquitoes. But I discovered a new public access to Pine River up here in Cross Lake. And it is very picturesque, very beautiful. And I thought I'd share that with you guys. I mean, it's probably been here a while. I just didn't know about it. Because when you get an adventure mobile, you stop where you see the signs all of a sudden, right? Yep. So this is off of, what's the name of that road we came off of? I think it's County Road 36. County Road 36. And it's like a walk-in. Like you can put your waders on and walk out there. Look at that. That is very nice. Or take your kayak or whatever. And the Pine River is very crystal clear water. I'm coming back. I'm definitely coming back. Probably bring my kayak and drag it down these steps and not my blow up one, my real kayak. I have a real one too. Looks like they've been doing some work around here. There's some excavating work done. It's got, this is just a little roundabout. And uh, I don't know if there's any hiking trails here or not. It looks like there is along the riverfront. Isn't that what this is here? No, I felt too overgrown. No, it's a hiking trail. Yeah, I'm just gonna look. Yep, a little hiking trail goes all along the river. It's so cool. Living here is so cool. Will oh, you yeah, look at that?
So I think this is about the only place you could like bring a truck camper or a camper or something is right as you come in off the road there, park around in here. They have this little turnaround here. Yeah, yeah, you're allowed to camp here free of charge. Limit your stay at a camp campsite to give others a chance to enjoy the river. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, I guess there's more camping. You could come back in through here. Oh, we're talking free now. Just remember free. This is a great boondocking spot. That's a pretty cool place. I like it. I like it here a lot. I'm definitely going to come back here. Some guy's down here walking his dogs. This is the cutest dogs. What kind of dogs are those? Those are Saint the St. Bernard. Yeah. Very friendly. Still yard sailing out here around uh, Whitefish Chain of Lakes and uh, we've got a bunch of free stuff. <laughs> I don't know if I'll use it or not, but it's free, right? You know, gas prices and all. We got some skis. Great, we can ski where we need to go in the winter, right, hon? That's right. All right. Just got the bare minimum going fishing up to the dam again. Going dam fishing. It's a good day for it because this, this wind has just not let up. It's just howling for like a week in a row now. So it's no fun to take the boat out even if it's a deep V that can handle it when it's 25, 35 mile an hour winds. But you want to catch fish, right? You want to catch fish to survive the coming apocalypse. Because when the coming apocalypse come, there'll be 10,000 people up there fishing knee deep or chest deep. Lots of fishermen here today, but it is Father's Day. See a lot of grandpas taking their grandkids out here. I caught a clam. I really did. I really caught a clam. Really caught a freshwater clam. Look at that. A live one.
I caught so many fish that I just got bored of catching fish. You know, you catch so many fish that you get bored catching them. Is that a thing? Yeah, every cast I caught something. I, some big ones got away, it's true, but I didn't keep any. I just... <laughs> the thought of having to clean all those fish, just, it crossed my mind. I was like, I ain't keeping any. I was starting to lose a little bit of faith in humanity for a second. I found this note, this, this note that was in someone's pocket that fell out. It was laying right here on the ground, right here. It's looked like it's been here for a while. It's kind of wet and crumply. But getting back to what I was going to say, starting to lose a little faith in humanity. There's a family of people across the way. And it, it looks like a family. I don't know whether they're babysitting or that's actually their kids. But nonetheless, it doesn't matter. It, it just doesn't matter. This guy was just throwing around the, the curse words, just... You know, F this, F, F, F this, yelling at people and stuff like that. And I I just kept thinking to myself how inappropriate it was to do that around kids. And these, these are youngins. These are grade school kids. I just, I was, it kind of made me mad. It's like, eh, you know what? If you want to talk that way, talk that way. But, you know, don't talk that way around the kids. It, they think it's just normal talk. And, of course, they probably duplicating it, you know, normal talk. If their parents talk like that or their grandparents talk like that, then they're going to talk like that, period. It's, it's, it's like the go-ahead to, to just say that kind of stuff. It is. So I found this... Uh, it looks like a... Uh, parents letter to the kids while they're on vacation things to remember it, it kind of restored my faith and so let me show you a little bit of it I slap a few mosquitoes here okay see <laughs> aquatics remember when you're swimming at the waterfront and you start to feel tired, drink water. Dehydration is a big problem and staying hydrated will keep you at your best. Remember this and you'll be on the highway to the safety zone. This, this, this looks like a mother or somebody wrote to somebody coming up here on vacation. See that? When the climbing tower is open, always remember to make, to have your helmet on. You need to protect yourself from falling debris. This way you'll be on the highway to the safety zone. They're obviously shooters. This is the most important thing to remember at the range is to make sure your shoes are tied. Keeping your shoes tied is a vital part to enjoying your shoot. Remember this and you'll be on the highway to the safety zone. I guess that means so, you know, you're not tripping all over yourself. Anyway, it's just a lot of vacation tips like that that somebody took the time to write out on a piece of note paper for somebody. I thought, that, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That's, I mean, yeah, that's a whole lot better than some guy out there yelling at his kids. Blah this, blah that, blah, blah, blah. Oh, look, I caught one. You know, look at how great I am. Look at me, look at me. You know, you, I don't know. It, it's like... I, I personally would be not fishing, probably, if the grandkids were here with me. Or if I was, it would be because they're all set to go, but these kids weren't set to go. They were kind of like on their own, you know, figuring out stuff. I don't know. It's a different, different world we live in, guys. Somebody using the free dump station. 
the Patriot Edition. Campers are everywhere. And soon we'll be on our way north. Look at them all. The height of the tour season. I've been reading that there's a lot of people going to forego vacations this year because of the high cost of everything, gas and food. And, you know, who's got who's got the money to go on vacation? You know. Now we're going to go, but as as you saw, we we were going mostly locally, and the farthest that we're going to go from our house, I think it's like a three-hour drive one way. But the thought of getting in my Kodiak truck camper or going on vacation, go across the country like the Yellowstone or any of the real big national parks, it, it would just never cross my mind. It just, it just wouldn't. I couldn't imagine the, the cost that it would, just in gasoline alone, the high prices of everything these days. Now, all these these campers and things I'm looking at here, 90% of them are all Minnesota license plates. So they're obviously from somewhere in the state. Probably from, uh, usually from the, uh, the three major cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Duluth. But uh, I gotta say, I'm not seeing as many and I know this is anecdotal, but I'm not seeing as many out-of-state plates as I usually see. For example, the number one most out-of-state plate, state plate that I see year in and year out has always been Florida. Uh, you see those everywhere. I don't know why. You just they're just from lots of them, and not not so much this year. So it was a pretty fun day. I found a new place. And I'll be exploring that in the weeks and months to come. So thanks for watching. Talk to you all later.